Charterman, Charterman, Rhyme, Charterman, 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 Rhyme, Reading comics, Twitter, Hell of Six, Hell of Wackiness, Take a Bad Hits, Take a Bad Hits, Charterman, Subscribe, Machine for Comics. Like you can tell that's his jaw. What's up you guys, Jordan Miss Prime here doing another DC figure review. Uh, not actually a figure, but the Collect and Connect, the Dark Knight Rises Movie Masters Bat Signal. Damn, this thing is cool, man. This is really one of the coolest Collect and Connect or build a figures I've gotten. I really love this thing. This Bat Signal is sick as hell. Gotta give a big thanks to the lovely Charlita One for picking up the Batman for me that I needed for this piece. Gotta thank the Marvel Walkies for finding the John Blake figure for me that I really needed. And gotta give a big thanks to Century Productions for giving me the Ray Shaw Ghoul figure that I needed in order to build this thing. And he got that for me for my birthday. And I also gotta say congratulations to Century Productions. He just hit 10,000 subscribers. If you have not subscribed to him, you are missing out. He is one of the best reviewers out there. He actually really inspired me to get into reviewing Marvel Legends. So seriously, check out his channel. He is he is um, really the inspiration and the love of my life. First, let's get into the paint detail, which is actually pretty damn cool. Look at all that dirt, man. I think they did a really good job on this thing. This looks damn sweet. Now, my only one little gripe with this figure is that it doesn't really go all the way across on this dirt mark right up here and on this side over here. So it doesn't completely match. Now, on the front two pieces, it matches. You can see how that looks consistent. But right over here, it's a little off. And right here, it's just not totally consistent. So that's my little gripe. I really like the plastic that they use. It's got like these sparkles in it. Do you see the sparkles? I love sparkles, man. It's just, I don't know, it makes me feel all bubbly inside, like I'm getting a quality product. And here's the very back of it right there. That's the nipple of the bat signal. Damn, that's a that's a pointy nipple right there. But anyway, you can see you're not supposed to throw it in the garbage. And it takes three AAA batteries. It has an on switch and an off switch right there. I'm going to leave that in the off position right now because we're talking about the paint detail and the nice sculpts. There's the uh, the power source right there, the lever. Got a nice brown going on right here. Some more paint shading. There's the trigger that turns it on and off. So you can just press it with your finger if you want or you could tilt the signal down and it'll turn it on. It'll make that clicking sound like that. Got some dust, some paint detail right here. It's nice wash going on right there. I like that. It looks more like dry brushing, I guess. I'm not 100% sure. Nice texture to the floor, the rooftop floor. So, yeah, it looks very nice. Got this cool different kind of sculpted detail going on there. So when you scratch it, you know, it makes a noise. Gotta love that. Yeah, a little hollow at the bottom, not really. So, very nice. I really like this thing. And then the bat signal itself, this is like a silver paint right here on this convex lens. So it does stick out. And I don't think it's made out of glass. I believe this is made out of plastic. I don't know. I like the sculpted detail right here. It has some articulation. It moves up and down like this. And it'll stay in pretty much any position you want it to. You know, sometimes it'll, it won't, like, exactly stay how you want it to. And you gotta give it a couple of tries. So you have to, like, overdo it sometimes and then it'll, then it'll stay. So it's not bad. It's not really a complaint of mine or anything. So it moves up and down and it moves side to side. Okay. So when you move it 360, you gotta be careful with this switch right here. And this rotates as well so yeah don't be rough with your bat signals things awesome I think if you just want to buy it all by itself it's like a hundred bucks or something ridiculous like that so here's the moment we've been waiting for you want to turn this switch on right here like I said three AAA batteries to get this guy going which are not included of course just collect and connect piece and you want to pull this down and then BAM you got a bat signal okay wrong theme song but Anyway, this is just really nice, bright bat signal. Very, very, very cool. Oh, yeah, and if you want to see how Batman looks next to it, you know. So this is the height of the bat signal. It's just about six inches. But, yeah. Is, hey, who's calling me? Who's calling me? Uh, why are you calling me, Sean Batman? Right, and uh, why are you trying to be like Sean Long and talk like Batman? Why are you trying to be like Sean Long? The light for this thing is powerful, man. It will go very far. And like any other light, the closer you get to a wall, the you know, the smaller it gets and the farther away you go, the bigger it gets. So I want to show you how this looks in my house. It, it can get some real distance. The bat signal reaches all the way over there, which is 12 feet away. That's 12 feet. 
This other wall over here, that's 16 feet away. And then all the way down there at the end of the hall is my bedroom. You can see the lights shining on the uh, on the comic books right above there. So that's 31 feet away. So, damn, this thing goes pretty far. You could pretty at 16 feet away, you could still make out the bat signal. There's 12 feet. So even the 12 feet is pretty damn cool. Okay, let's see how long the timer goes for. One, two, three, 21, Four. 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, okay, so about 26 seconds, probably 30 second timer, I'm guessing. So it takes six figures to build this thing. I think I mentioned before that there, there's a Walmart exclusive commissioner, Jim Gordon, that comes with the broken bat signal piece right here. Not really interested in getting that, honestly, I mean, it would be kind of cool, but you know, it'd be neat to have, but not a big deal. But anyway, I was wondering, hey, if you guys wanted me to review any of these figures, I did review Bane, but which one would you like to see me review out of those five right there? I haven't reviewed any of these five, and I've kind of been curious if you guys would be down to see that. So let me know which one. One thing I wanted to show is that you can remove this lens, like how I mentioned that there's the Jim Gordon version. See this tab right here? If you push in with your fingernail, you push in like that and then pull it out and you could replace this front lens with the Jim Gordon one. It's not very hard to do at all. So you just slip it right in there like that and there you go. You got it back to normal. So yeah, hope you guys like my video and I will catch you later. Don't forget to rate, comment, and of course, subscribe, damn it. What's wrong with you? SUBSCRIBE! That's crispy. Today's ACBA pick of the day goes to Alan Alvarez. Wow, man, look at this thing. It looks like it's real, man. I mean, doesn't that look real or what? That's that's just incredible. If you want to see more pictures like this, go to the ACBA like page. Check out the ACBA group page. Go to my Facebook and just check out what I'm doing with my life. And then also, don't forget to go to bkbn.net for the latest in news, reviews, and more. And please, please do not forget to celebrate your nerdum in a big way. <laughs> the love of my life. <laughs>